Welcome. And my name's Terry King. And that's Tia. The uh, log burn is now off. We're still getting a few late frosts here in the UK. And it's time to start thinking about getting uh, some more logs, replenishing the stocks. There's quite a few of my friends who've uh, bought log burners. I advised them. They took no notice. Got a nice cheap one off the internet. And they said oh, it's burning too much fuel. Let's have a look at uh, my log burner. This is a 5 kilowatt. It'll take up to um, 12 inch pieces of wood. But I normally stick to 6 inches. And just normally put a couple of pieces on at a time. Crisscrossing them. But as you can see at the bottom, there's little settings, levers. This one cost me £1,300. You can get them for 350 But I wouldn't uh, advise on anybody getting anything that you can't restrict the oxygen. I burn for 24 hours a day, start putting wood on at uh, 5, half past 5 in the morning, finish it half 8 at night, we turn it right down and then the charcoal that's uh, been created during the day burns nice and slowly uh, throughout the night. That's the basket of wood we keep in the house. With the humidity here in the UK, it's a struggle to get the wood down to less than uh, 20%. But by bringing it inside, warming the wood up, you can get it down to about 16, 15%. And the modern wood burners, wood stoves, Uh, obviously, in the uh, it has to meet uh, the local authority standards, so wood has to be twenty percent or below. It doesn't burn properly. If you don't, which can create uh, the tar and all the rubbish that uh, goes up the chimney or up the flue pipe. And you can end up with a chimney fire. My brother's next door neighbour was burning untreated wood. Sorry, he was burning treated wood. The MDFs, the manufactured uh, tarp woods with the resin in, giving off toxic gases. And when his chimney set fire, the flue melted, plaster came off the walls. And he had to rebuild his uh, chimney at the top. So please only burn good clean wood or logs. We'll move on. This is the first uh, wood storage uh, I built next to the house. For ease of uh, getting wood in if we've got severe weather. It fits into the corner nicely. In a future video, I'll show you how to make one on the cheap. This is my second store, which is also close to the house. I told the wife that I was just building another small one. Wasn't awfully impressed, but this holds uh, about nine to ten weeks worth of wood. The smaller one holds six weeks. Ideal nuts to the house. This wood is from 2012. I'm looking now to collect wood for 2017. What I'm storing at the moment. We'll move on. 
also uh, be having a go at uh, making a mushroom out of a piece of uh, wood. They look quite nice in the garden. Let's have a quick look at me, me fish. And no, Mark Davidson, you're not dangling your worm in there. A poor reindeer, poor old Rudolph there. His nose has gone a bit discoloured. He's lost his tail and he's lost his uh, antlers. He's about five years old now. I think he needs uh, a little bit of a refurb. This is my greenhouse, or should we call it the wood house. Some people look at me mad when I've uh, actually uh, put dates on the wood. But it's, you just wouldn't be able to remember where you've moved wood to and from, in and out, up to the top ready for burning. So I just number everything, date everything. It's all mixed up. It's all over the place. Down below it's January 2014. This is normally full. During the uh, summer, winter. And then when we finish burning I'll restack all the uh, areas. But this will have me uh, tomatoes in at home. So I'll have some tomatoes up my allotment and... Uh, and in here. More there. Some more there. Future videos I'll be showing you how to stack the wood so that uh, it's got the best chance of drying. Yes, and there's more. We can just about get the car in there. It's a good job the wife can reverse. <laughs> and me, I suppose. Starter logs, very important. These are mainly pine or very light wood. But again, I'll be showing you by weighing the logs how much uh, water is contained in a normal log. A log 12 inches long, 8 inches in diameter, will hold a pint of water. So you can imagine putting a fresh log onto an open fire and it'll just put it out. So that's all my logs. Ha ha ha. LOL. As if I've already got enough. That's what I've picked up off YouTube. Stack all my logs in there. Chop them up. Used a wide profile tyre so as my axe actually hits the top of the tyre uh, it just bounces up slightly so it doesn't get stuck in the uh, into the log that's how I used to saw my logs just cut a V place the logs on but you're still chasing uh, and putting the wood back on so uh, I built this I'll uh, just demonstrate that now When I saw it on YouTube, you can actually see the uh, the original, what I tried to copy, on one of my favourite list. I think it is actually top. But literally you can actually sit on the end of that log. Uh, you know, it's just, just the weight of the log holds, the, uh, holds it in place. But you can just saw all the way along and roughly six to eight inches the last log soaring down that side is ideal 
more reinforcing bar and that square bracket just slides up and down but because of the weight of the log it seems to grab hold of it and makes ease of soaring again there'll be another video later on and you can let me know what you need to see to help you these wooden crates were just about to have the loading shovel dropped on them to crush them up to put them in the skip and you know what happened then I salvaged them that's how long my logs come to me in lengths and uh, I saw them up I've got all winter now to get all these full it's partly filled and that one's filled now so that will be classed as uh, April 2015 as you, as you can see I've stacked them so they're actually uh, bark up when you burn logs it's bark down so the heat of the fire pushes out all the volatiles woods are carbon as you know from compressing things like dead trees creates uh, pressure and eventually coal you get coal and then obviously the ultimate you get diamonds you can actually burn diamonds but I would imagine it's a very expensive uh, demonstration we'll move on just wanted to just show you how much the actual wood shrinks uh, there's a gap there of about uh, six inches on a five foot stack so as you can see it has shrunk quite a lot hello hello Amazon not going to talk today I'll be looking at chainsaw maintenance the PPE as I say this is what I do might be right might be wrong but that's what the comments box is for I think I've covered everything that I may uh, want to do but there should be in-depth clips of how I do things. Hope it's been some of some interest. Um, they call me the robotic gardener, so I don't know what they call me uh, on the logs wise. But uh, it's two of my hobbies. This hobby keeps the house warm. The other hobby keeps us fed. It takes about two days to warm the whole house up using that 5 kilowatt. But by gum, after two days when it's been switched off, it does go a bit nippy. But it's just far too warm to have the log burner working at this time of the year when we're getting the midday temperatures. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for everybody who subscribed during my first two videos on allotment gardening. And we'll definitely be seeing you soon. Happy chopping logs. Sorry folks, I'd just best go through perhaps what I'm going to do on future videos. Uh, we'll be looking at um, the UK laws, regulations, who can actually fit your burner. Uh, it must be a competent uh, engineer. If not, you have to get building regs involved which includes um, a little plate, steel plate, similar to what's under your car bonnet or hood and uh, it has to have all the details of uh, who fitted it, when, where, 
to make sure it's compliant with the local authority rules. Um, buying a stove, that's entirely up to yourselves, but don't buy cheap. Uh, we'll be looking at why do we need to burn dry wood. Uh, and uh, don't be tempted to burn wood that's manufactured, chipboard, MDF. That may contain resins and give out toxins. We'll be looking at how to season logs. We'll be looking at uh, the PPE. Why we need it. Don't be tempted not to. Chainsaw maintenance there as well. I had to go. I went on a five-day course, intensive course, to operate um, the chainsaw. Where else would you have a piece of equipment that hasn't got a guard on it, that's spinning round? Please, you can hire these chainsaws in the shops. They don't supply you with PPE. And put it this way, no doubt you've seen some YouTube videos of chainsaw accidents and they don't stitch the wound. It's nothing to stitch. Obviously the chainsaw, there's lots of, lots of safety aspects and how to use it. And I'll be showing you how I interpret that and that's uh, how I do it. We're showing you cutting logs and splitting logs. Here in the uh, UK, most of the wood is hardwood. <laughs> That's all my paperwork on the bunk. And uh, how to split the knots where the tree branches come out. I'll get a special piece of wood and we'll cut that and show you how to. Uh, cut it in the right place with a chainsaw or in actual fact just cut the whole knot up with a chainsaw.